This quick tip is on stretching an image in Photoshop, and I'm going to demonstrate creating a Facebook cover page for this one. So I've opened up this picture of Adele in Photoshop, and the first thing I need to do, obviously, is flip this image so that it lays right for a cover page. So I need to come over and change the background layer to just a standard layer, and I do that just by tapping this layer twice, and I have the option to rename it or anything. I typically don't do that, so I just say OK. And then I'll go Edit. We'll come down to Transform. And we have a bunch of options here, but what I'm going to do is just go to Flip Horizontal. And so that'll flip the image over. I'm going to hold down the Z key, which turns on, if you can see little crosshairs, it turns on the zoom. And then if I hold the Alt key and then tap, that'll take it out a little further. Because I'm now going to come over here into the toolbar and select the Cropping tool. And what I've done is create, uh, created a preset that's the right size for a Facebook cover. It's 851 pixels by 315 pixels, so it just automatically comes out like that. And you could go in here, and what I'm doing with this is I'm extending the canvas size so I have somewhere to stretch the background to. And I could come up and I could go image, canvas size, and go through that whole thing, but it just is easier to come over here and simply adjust your crop and crop some additional space in. And I just crop it till I get Adele looking like I want her to and then that looks good. You can either hit the thing or double tap. Then I'm going to take the uh, marquee tool and select right up to Adele. Now I don't need to go on out into the blank space. And I can do one of two things. I can hit Command T, which is Transform, or I can go up here and go to Content Aware Scale. I've tested them both, and they both seem to work the same. So I typically just hit Command T to go into Transform, and then you just grab this handle right here and stretch. Stretch it out to the end. And you'll want to not stretch it too far. You're trying to keep it from distorting. You can see these rocks are pulling a little bit, but it's doing a fairly decent job here of keeping the wall straight. Hit the question mark. And then if you hit Command D, that will turn off the selection. Or you can go Select, Deselect. And there you have it, the stretched canvas. And now you just need to save this. You can actually put text on it if you want to or whatever you want to do.